So I saw this ring online and thought that I would like to do one like it. So I fired up design. First, I changed the units to inches just because I think better in inches. I'll change them to millimeters in Mesh Mixer. Then I clicked on the circle click on the grid, click on the center, and then click the diameter. Next, I clicked on the polyline. Then I trimmed the bit of circle away to make the mouth. And there's the Pac-Man. Now I clicked on the spline tool and I'll draw a curvy line on which to put some other items. I'll first give it volume by clicking a circle to the end of it then rotating it perpendicular. Select the circle, click on sweep, select the spline for the path, and there is the line on which I'll put some dots and a ghost. Let's draw the dots. I'm cruising a box to the canvas along with the sphere because I'm going to draw a line on the box that will be my cutting edge for the split solid operation. Click on split solid, click on the sphere, click on the line, and I'm splitting the sphere where that red plane was. I can delete what I don't need now. Then I just scale and move the half sphere that's left. Select it and hit Control C and Control V to copy it and move the copy in place. Now let's draw a ghost. Click on the polyline and draw the bottom part of the ghost. Then click on the three-point arc and draw the top part. Looks kind of big, so let's scale it down. Extrude it up. Extrude the Pac-Man up. And then move the ghost into place. Let's scale this down a bit, too. Now 
we need to thicken the bottom so that the spline doesn't protrude from the bottom of the Pac-Man. Now add the ring part with a torus. Adjust its size to your finger and rotate and place. Now I'll study the proportions of the whole thing and tweak and adjust as needed. I'd like to make the spline a bit more narrow, so I'm going to use the scale and the non-uniform option to make it a bit more narrow. Scale down the dots, move them a bit. And now add some eyes. Let's add some eyes to the ghost. All of this has to be combined together to be 3D printed. So click on Combine Merge, click on the Pac-Man, and then click on everything else. And click on the Workplace to finish. Looks like I didn't click on the Pac-Man the first time, so I'll click on it again. And now it's all welded together. As you can see, when I move it, it all moves together. And the next step is to send it to Mesh Mixer to study it for printing suitability, set the orientation, and generate supports.